There you go, this old fat bellied mama I'm gonna start with this morning. Welcome back, you two. This one hit it full hour ready here this morning. We could throw the old spinner a little while this morning and see what we can do with it. Whoa, here yeah, Nelly. Got us a eating size brim here. Good hand size brim. The old, uh, got a little greenish colored swirl tail grub on the old spinner hand this morning. Trying it a little while. Here we go with another brim. This water is high. This tide's still coming in. The water's out there in the woods already. It must be the moon pulling this water in so high. So we had some rain the other day. I don't think it would have made that water rise like this. But they ain't biting as good as they was the other morning. The other morning they wasn't biting hot, but I was catching some big fish. We could try them a little while longer this morning. I wish I could fish the low tide, but we won't have time to dig. Mm-hmm, we got a runner on here. There we go. Tide just turned to start going out. But unfortunately, I ain't gonna have time to fish it getting low, but we could fish it a while. Maybe even it just turning, maybe it'll make them stir a little bit. There's a nice brim. Good eater. Molly. At least the mollies are starting to bite, so these first two I caught in a while. Oh, fat molly. They ain't too big, but molly's always kind of thick. Stump knocker. Spotted sunfish. Use an eater. I'm gonna have to pull this jacket off in a minute. A little cool this morning. It's starting to warm up, so now it's about nine o'clock. The bite has picked up a little bit from what they was doing. They wasn't doing nothing when that tide was coming in. And just wish I could stay there. It would get out of them woods down there, but like I say, got a whole lot of time to fish this morning. I got some stuff to do, but we could try them for a while. Mm, got a nice brim or something on here this time. Oh yeah. There we go. This is what we're looking for. <coughs> All right, turn the tail loose on that grub. Turn the tail loose. Turn it. There you go. Well, it is biting a little bit better, I'm telling you. They wouldn't. I fished for an hour then that catch a fish earlier. I like these grubs with the tails on them, but they are easy for a fish to tear them up. I don't think I'd want to fish out of that old boat there. Thing ain't even got no back in it. It's still floating. Look like a Old fast craft for a high tide. Mm, trying to see the side of it. It's turning Nexus now. Fast craft. Old fast craft boat. It's still floating. No back, no side on it over there. <coughs> this one grabbed it at the boat. I didn't have time to get the camera on. But I had to switch to a swirl tail jig. 
because one of them fish snatched the tail off my paddle tail grub while ago. So we put a swirl tail grub on there. <coughs> we'll fish it a while, it's the same color. That shell cracker. Grabbed it right at the boat chill. Come over to the shallow side to try it since this water's up so high. Try to get them to do something on this side. One of these days I'm going to catch this tide when it's all the way down. It'll get better. Just a matter of time. Huh. Not a one of them old brams there. Seems like the shallow side is doing a little better. <coughs> I don't know where all this high water coming from. The moon's going away, so it should be drawing a lot of this water out. And the rain we had the other day shouldn't have rose it up that much this quick. So I just don't know. All I know is when this tide is in, it is high. But like I said on the last video, all we can do is deal with what we got. Come here, Bram. Won't you flap off right at the boat? Done got you in, so you'd have to count. Whether you jump back out the boat or not, you'd have to go on the list as being caught. Because I did get you in the boat. If I wouldn't have got you in the boat, then it'd have been different. If he'd got away, I could have said I'd throw him back. It sure ain't too hot yet today. It might get hot later on. I don't know what the weatherman's calling for. I know that it got down like 60 degrees last night. But some of that old hot weather will get you into South Carolina directly. And it ain't gonna leave. Especially if it gets over in July and August. Whoa, here, Nelly. Come on in this boat, here. Well, I don't know where Cousin Andy is. He's supposed to, supposed to be down here. I don't know if he made it down here or not. But these fish just starting to bite and a little bit with this tide going out and this water starting to drop a little bit. It'll be about three hours, about three more hours so that we get right. Them fish biting better than what they was when it was coming in this morning. Come here, come here, Brent. Come here, come here, come here. Come here and get in this boat. There you go. We ain't catching no golly whoppers yet. But the ones we catching are nice eating size fish. I'll settle with them anyhow. I don't care what Cousin Jerry says. I throw the spinner with the white grub on it some also and they just wasn't hitting that white one today but this chartreuse and green or or yellow and green is seem like the one they hitting better today but I got a lighter jig head on here so I can reel it much slower and what I is, the uh, one I got the white one, it's a little bit heavier jig head on that one. 
but I make a much slower retrieve with this one and it don't sink as much. So I don't get hung up so bad with it sinking so quick. But this seems to be the combination that's working best for me this morning. Whoa, here Nelly, come on, come on now, come on, give up, give up, give up, give up. Feel like a nice one here. There it is, and he tried to swallow it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig to get that one out of your mouth. You've been cut by a garfish or something across your back right there. But we left the landing this morning. We ain't even cranked the gas motor up. We just been running the electric motor. But the bite started to pick up. I'm starting to hear a few brim pop around these lily pads and stuff. They kind of picked up the bite a little bit. Too bad we got ain't got much longer before we got to go. Man. <coughs> Another old brim here. Good eating size brim, good hand size brim. Urgh. Here's a golly whopper of a mole mouth. Little big mole mouth there. Straighten your head up there, buddy, your tail up. Why you want to curl that tail like that? You're on camera, don't you know? You're supposed to straighten out. <clears throat> peeing all over the place. Would you quit peeing? That hook got you good. There we go. Got your belly squished. Little big healthy mama. Scarred up. Hmm. Another old mama here. Gracious. Mama starting to bite down his bottom. Glad to see them start biting some. It's been a while since I caught any more off. They had quit for some reason. Uh-oh, couldn't get enough to try it up in there. Come on here now. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Another nice brim. Man, I wish I could fish this tide all the way low today. But the only thing about these type of grubs right here, they tear up so easily. But that flashing tail, swimming in the water, the swirl tail jig, uh, Grubs or them paddle tail grubs. Fish can't stand to see that tail shaking. But they also will go up and just grab that tail and break that tail off of there. That's why I had to switch this one. small bass trying to give me a hard time here. <sighs> trying to give me a hard time. Come on now, get a hook out your mouth. You got a hook right in the hard part. There we go. Go back and grow up some. Give somebody a chance to get a weight on you in a tournament. Hey YouTube, uh, we fished this morning, we caught a nice mess of fish. We left the landing fishing and we made it back to the landing fishing. We just fished up a ways the river here and 
<coughs> fish that coming back. But we still caught a mess of fish. We didn't have to run way down the river to do it. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed and we'll try to get back out there in a couple of days and do it again. Catch you the next time, YouTube.